How do you approach uh, this game against uh, Minnesota? It's going to be 50,000 fans there. It should be quite an atmosphere, and you're playing on probably one of the more surfaces in the league. We're playing to win. I think we need to win games in order to get to the playoffs. You can't just rely on the other teams to fall. You have to help yourself, and I think you also need to get build some momentum if you are going to get to the playoffs to make a good run. So we're going there. We know it's the last game, home game of the season for them, a huge crowd. Um, it's the Galaxy along with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, so there's a big story about that. But when you try to break it down as, as simple as possible, it's important for us to go there with the attitude that we've got to try and win this game, which, how, we, which we've been doing all along. How does the, the fact of that turf, how, how does that impact the way you look at lineup and especially the way you look at Zlatan? Uh, conversations are, are going to be made heading into this. I think he knows the importance of the next two games. Um, you know, obviously, as, as a coach, you never want to put a player into the position where he's, you know, maybe not be successful or injure himself. Uh, we've already had, a, a, you know, a small conversation beforehand. And like I said, he knows the importance of what's going on, and he uh, definitely wants to, uh, to play and play well. How do you look at uh, Real Salt Lake? Would you watch? Would you watch I'll watch game? it tonight. Yeah, I watched the game last night. I mean, I'll, mm -hmm. Not only am I watching it for, um, you know, Galaxy reasons, but I'm a fan of the league, so I do watch the games no matter what. Uh, watched the game last night, understood the importance of it as far as Vancouver was. Um, so I know there's some teams who have clinched, but they're all fighting for the same thing, which is home field through the first round, which is very important. So when you look at the other game, you know, Salt Lake does play New England tonight, but they play Portland. Uh, Vancouver's playing um, LAFC. So there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff going on besides our games. So I do have an eye on that, but my main focus is getting the team ready for Sunday. Real Salt Lake's schedule seems to be A plus for you guys. At one, they got two games in one week right after uh, right yeah, it's, international week but also then you go into the last game knowing knowing the situation. yeah it's it's a bit interesting that way with the with the uneven team uneven number of teams that this is the way it happens um